Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 18th of March 2024. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, across the news on Friday, we saw US equities soft. Investors still a little bruised after recent inflation data was suggestive of a potentially longer wait until rate cuts. It is a big central bank week ahead. We have the RBA and the BOJ tomorrow. And, of course, the Fed on Wednesday with the Bank of England on Thursday. So lots of rate decisions ahead. It's going to be the press conferences that go along with that, which are likely to be the major market movers. US futures generally positive in early trading today. Asian markets mixed. The Nikkei is up over 2%, rebounding from last week's caution. The ASX is trading in a fairly tight range. It's Bounce between about 0.1% to the downside to neutral. And European equity futures are pointing to a cautious open this afternoon. We're seeing some strength in the US dollar after that equity weakness, uh, but not significantly so. It has bounced off support. We have seen gold pull back from those record highs down to around about the 2150 level. Copper, however, continues to be bullish. And we've got significant buying not only towards the back end of the week, but also a little buying today in Asia also. Oil is also edging higher and now back to November levels. Bitcoin dropped from its 73,000 record high to week again in Asia, currently around about 67,000. And Chinese retail sales are slightly stronger than expected. Eurozone CPI, the data highlights today. As I said, the BOJ are in focus tomorrow. So a couple of charts of core RI today. Uh, the New Zealand Canadian dollar looks interesting. We've got a pivot level here at 82.54. You can see we've got this V shaped bounce going on. Looks like a bit of a reverse head and shoulders pattern on the hourly time frame. Reach of this pivot could be interesting. We could see ultimately a move up to 82.77, uh, but there may be a pause at 82.62, which uh, could either be an area where you accumulate or uh, a weight point uh, to give you this higher probability move of around about 15 to 16 pips later. On the ASX, it's really difficult to walk past Zipco without being astounded by how fast this has risen. You can see it paused last week around this 128 level. Massive move through that today, now up to 138. This on a weekly chart, just for context, you can see really the next price level is around about 153 on this. Uh, that would represent a move from today's price of around about 11%. Again, this stock just continues to go higher and higher. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.